Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hey, hey, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, I will fill you all in on how Little Brand is doing. I'm going to jump into this really quickly first. That way we can chit chat and create together. Um, so let's talk all things Club Couture. Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month without fail. It is only $19.99 plus tax in the U.S., $26.99 plus tax in Canada, and it will ship free to you every single month. Now, what will ship free to you, you may ask? Well, you will get an exclusive size B transfer along with three coordinating chalk piece singles um, each month. Um, and you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of the live because I'm going to show you what our brand new transfer looks like. I'm so excited. It's a, it arrived today. I just haven't even opened it yet. Now, not only do you get that every month. Now, this transfer is so exclusive. Only Club Couture customers and designers can get their hands on it. Now, what else will you get? Well, first and foremost, you will get access into my private Club Couture VIP group where I go in and make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck. You will also get exclusive flat rate shipping. Now, all of my customers currently receive flat rate shipping of $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada on your entire order. But as a Club Couture customer, you will receive bonus flat rate shipping of only $4.95 in the U.S. and only $9.95 in Canada. And once again, that's on your whole order. And finally, you will receive exclusive specials and deals directly from Chalk Couture for being one of my Club Couture customers. This month's special is super great. When you spend $50 US or $70 Canadian pre-tax and shipping in my online store this month, you will instantly get a savings in your cart of $5 US and $7 Canadian uh, when you're going to check out. So how great is that? Now, if you are interested in joining Club Couture, all of the details can be found in the description on both YouTube and Facebook, along with the link to go ahead and sign up. And like I said, stay till the end. I'm going to show you what this month's Club Couture transfer looks like because it's so, or November's Club Couture looks like because it's so cute. Now, let's talk about one of my absolute favorite things. And that is the ability to join um, my team, purchase your business in a box, and launch your empire. Now, um, this is our new designer kit, aka business in a box. Our business in a box, 
I call it that because everything you need to jumpstart your business is going to come in that box. Now, to join my award-winning team, it is only $99 in the U.S. plus tax and shipping and $135 plus tax and shipping in Canada. Your box is going to come with a value of $250 U.S., $350 in, Can in Canada, and it will include five three-ounce chalk pieces, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank-you cards, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel Ada Magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me. Um, you're going to get six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers along with that exclusive monthly club couture transfer. Now I realize I probably threw out a whole lot of info at you and you're like, just slow down. I have got questions, girl. Please don't worry. I have your answers. All you need to do is comment, join down below, and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. Uh, in my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be a decision you're happy with. Now, here is a little something up on the screen for all my brand new friends who are just learning all about Chalk Couture um, while I get my screen ready. Hi, you guys. I'm going to fill you all in one little brand. Thank you guys all for being so sweet and asking about my man, my little man. Um, he will always be my baby, just so you know. Um, he may be 15, but I don't care. He's still my baby. Um, so, um, I have to, yeah, I wanted to fill you in on two things. One, well, three things. One, I feel completely better. I think I was just super stressed out. I had a major migraine because I was super worried about Brand today. Um, so he had his teeth yankings done. He was not knocked out. Instead, they just gave him some um, a needle to numb him. And he had four canines that had to be removed, um, two of which the root was twisted and it looked almost like a hook. So it was a little extra. He does have stitches in his mouth. Um, he did come out and tell me I could look at him and tell that he was in a lot of pain. And he did confirm that he said to me, mom, this is the worst pain I've ever been in. Um, and the kids had some things happen. He's already had stitches and staples in his head. So, um, he, they, they wouldn't allow me to go back to stay. I was allowed to go back and peek on him as the doctor came out to get me, you know, because of COVID and all that stuff. At least they knew that it was going to be a few hours for him. So they didn't schedule anybody else. So I was allowed to stay in the waiting room. Um, if I wasn't allowed to stay in the waiting room, I was going to pretty much throw a fit in there because there was no way I was going to be sitting in my car while my kid has extractions done. So there's that. Um, so he is doing good. He came home. He slept for about three hours, um, after he did some ice, which, Hey bub, don't forget. You got to ice your mouth, babe. Totally forgot to remind him of that. Um, he did have some chicken noodle soup. Thank you, TC Bella, for delivering an extra large, gigantic chicken soup for him that he tore up in a second because he was starving. Um, but uh, he's doing good. He's relaxing. I was with him, you know, all day, all morning, all afternoon. Um, and then my parents came to see him to see how he was doing to check on him. Um, bring him jello because he just wanted pop and he wanted jello. So pop to the rescue. Um, so now he's relaxing with big brand. They're watching, I don't know, some football thing. I don't know what it is. I just said, okay, well I'll go live. I have team meeting tonight. So you're in good hands with dad. So, um, he is doing good. So I truly appreciate you guys asking. And finally, number three, because you guys know I love to fill you in on the walls, if these walls could talk, uh, section of the Wilson household. So I don't know if I had told you guys, but we were, uh, my closet had gotten wrecked when we, two years ago this month, when we had our central air put in, because my house is 106 years old, guys. Um, we have plaster and lath. Uh, so when they put in the central air, they jacked up everything. Um, I, I'm going to say, to a degree, it was no fault of their own because of the plaster lath, but the way they left it was kind of atrocious and they broke my closet. Like I had, you know, those, I don't know what they were, like a closet system. So we finally had to get that fixed and the plaster and lath was crumbling. So it had to come down and get re, like re drywalled and spackled, which I, if I could take all the plaster and lath out of this house, I totally would. But regardless, I digress. Of course, there was something found in the walls because if you guys remember, we've had the pictures that were up in the attic, the rando pictures that now live in the attic and will never come out of them, uh, come out of there. We've had the newspaper that talked about Hitler um, 
and all these other things. Radnor PA homes going for like 24000 when they're like million dollar homes now. Like it was from 1932, I think the newspaper. Well, now today we find this in my wall. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Actually, let's go to my down camera. So maybe this can, I can zoom it in a little bit so that way you guys can see. So it's like a postcard. It's super dusty. I don't want to like spray anything onto it because I don't want to wreck it. But it says it's the Exposition Georges de la Tour, Paris. Oh, from the, oh, I was there. The Orangery, I don't know how to say that. Um, I actually was there when I had my Master Couturier trip in Paris. No idea how to say it. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so this, uh, is from September 1972. Um, and it was made in Paris. So somebody obviously went to Paris and decided to stick it in the wall. So there's that. Um, so that's super fun. Uh, so hi, Chris Peterson. Hey, Ann Leonard. Hi, Sherry Prince. Yeah. So hi, Kat and Debbie and Roberta. Hello. And, um, April and Linda and Kristen and Rhonda and Dion and Mary Egger and Caroline, uh, and Carolyn and Marlene and Valerie and Eliza and Lisa Batten and Maria St. P and Margaret Miller, Debbie Frith. Stacy Michaud, Melinda Thorne. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Thanks for being so kind. So, yeah, so this will go into <clears throat> the grand shadow box that I will make after we are all done. Um, but, yeah, I just thought that was kind of crazy. I actually have to message that to somebody. Um, so there's that. Hi, Leanne. So let's make a porch leaner tonight, you guys, shall we? So I'm going to have to kind of stand back to the side a little bit. And Lord knows, please don't knock my wine over from South Carolina. I'll be so sad. But we are going to be making the Harvest signpost. Now, this is the exact same surface I used for my Freedom signpost. I don't know if you guys remember that. I had to take the star off so I could lay it flat. Whoa. So um, it is the size that was ow, suggested on the website, you guys. So whatever size it said, that's the size of this trant of this surface. Now all I did was paint paint it in. Um, I think I did black chalk paint because I want to do. I'm thinking the colors I want to make this will be shimmer harvest and shimmer olive um, because I feel like they are absolutely awesome. Why am I cutting this side first? They're absolutely awesome. Um, colors for fall and we have like the little highlight area and I'm going to do a different color for that so you guys let me know um the three colors that I pulled out were shimmer harvest shimmer olive and shimmer gold so gold olive harvest what colors what two colors do you guys vote on let me know down below now shimmer harvest was anticipated back this week but it did get changed to next week so it is coming back you guys just not this week which I know, I know, a little bit of a bummer, but it's coming back next week, so you still will have time to go ahead and get your hands on it, okay? And I gotta just make sure I equally spread this out. I would love to be able to have room for the pumpkin and maybe some of the, I guess it's wheat, I don't really know. You guys know I don't do plants well. Uh, I, I'm kind of guessing at it. Did I go to, Do I didn't, Dion, we didn't get a chance to get there, girl. There was so much to do. Love my fun finds. Thanks, Burn. I do too. Hi, Sarah Weddingfeld. How are you? And Roxanne Murphy, Olive and Harvest. I agree. Okay, Maria and Margaret both said the same thing. So I think that's going to be the winner tonight will be Olive and Harvest. All right, Val agrees. So guess what, you guys? That's three people right off the bat that said yes to that. So we're going to go with it. So all I'm doing is just using my transfer trimmers. I'm cutting right down the edge of the cut lines. I agree, Lisa. I love those colors too. Oh, Dion, it might be a temporary bummer, but guess what? It's not going to be a full-on bummer because uh, we plan to go back to South Carolina very soon. We enjoyed it thoroughly. We truly did. I will definitely fly next time so that way my hand can be held and I won't be able to shop as much as I did. I'm having some buyer's remorse because I feel like I bought too much. But you know what? I love everything I bought, so there's that. So I, I don't know why I should have that. 
I love all the shimmers too, Burn. Who would have thunk it? A girl like me who always hated glitter and whatnot would love the shimmers. Like, I want to try and find a way to use a shimmer in every single project I do now. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. And make sure you guys, um, where is the dot? Make sure you uh, sprinkle, you subscribe, and you like the project. Throw me some hearts up if you are excited to see how this is going to look, because I know I'm excited. So, let's see. I truly did have a good time, Dion. It was so, so much fun. So, so much fun. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to, I know you guys aren't going to see all of this just yet. Just give me a second here. I'm going to see how I want to spread this out. If I, It would have been helpful if I didn't jack up the words as I did it. B E S T. Okay. So I'm going to see if I have enough room to do the pumpkin. I don't think I'm going to have enough room to do the wheat. H-A-R. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. Oh my gosh, Maria. I completely agree. And yes, Carolyn, you know me too well, girl. No glitter or flowers. And yes, Bird, I think me and you had that talk a long time ago when it came to scrapbooking. We did not care for that, did we? Okay, so hold on. I am, I may have to do just two pumpkins. Yes, bummer. Mm -mm. So, it will only be able to be, um, each a, oh gosh, guess what? I can't even fit the pumpkin on there. It's going to be just harvest. H A R. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, that's, guess what? That's no problem because I will just make H A R V E S T. So, guess what? That's fine because maybe I can just add a tag with a little pumpkin. I am glad that it's on here. I could even maybe just add pumpkins off to the side. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to, oh, shh. Hold on. What? This board weighs a ton. I'm clearly going to have to stand and do this. But I'm going to try to tilt it back. Oh, gosh. And probably work backwards to forwards. I'm hoping you guys, hold on. I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah, you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going to have to stand on this end. And that's a shame because my coffee is way over there. Now, make sure on your E, your S, and your H that these are on the bottom, okay? See how there's the shadow, that shadow layer? We wanna make sure that we are doing that. Now, I have already done everything for this board prep. It's already been done, okay? So, the only thing I need to do, guess what? We can go like one and an eighth inch over and it will be, yeah, that's perfect. All right, so guess what? The H is going to lead the way. One and an eighth of an inch. Where is my marker? There it is. Okay. So, we're going to do H. And I'll just reline these up. A, R, B, and that's about as far as I can reach at this current moment in time. I'll have to come to the opposite side of the table to do that. Okay. So, of course my fuzzing towel would be over there too. So, I'll have to reach for my backup fuzzing towel. Hold on. I'm going to just pull back up. AKA my cardigan. Which I don't really like doing because I get hair fibers and everything else on it. Okay, so I'm going to start at the tippy top. Okay, I'm going to just make sure that it, if it's lined up straight up there, it's going to be lined up straight there. Let me just make sure I'm one and an eighth of an inch. I'm a little bit, it's a little, little bit bigger on this side by an eighth, not even an eighth, a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm totally fine with that. Now see, had a fiber. Okay, so I think, and I'm sorry, I can't see your comments right now because of the way that I'm doing this. I think what I'm going to do is do it in 
the Shimmer Olive and highlight with the Shimmer. No, you know what? I'm going to do it with the Shimmer Harvest. I mean, is that right? Shimmer Harvest and then highlight with the Shimmer Olive. Okay. So let me get some squeegees up out of my bin here. Uh, get that to do that. All right. So you guys, oops, that needs to be stirred up. Um, you guys should be able to see what I am doing. I'm trying to see. Yeah, you can see me. Okay. There we go. Gosh, it's beautiful. Okay. So we are ready to rock and roll. And wait do you guys see just how fast this takes place. Now, I got to be mindful of how I'm doing this because I want to do the highlights. And thankfully, I am using the shimmers, which will allow me to move a little bit slower. I'm going to tell you something. It's a little awkward looking at this H because I'm like, I know I'm doing it upside down, but the H looks right in my brain because it's, you know, one of those letters. Okay, so now open my harvest, I mean my olive, oh yes mama, great consistency, just going to use my multi-tool for this part, and I'm just going to try to be a little careful. Of course, I never am. As soon as I say those words, I always wind up screwing up. Went off a little bit. That's okay. It's so okay. Now, if you were doing this as a one and done color, you probably would have already been done this. But I wanted to go that little bit of an extra step and do the highlight. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's peel this guy off. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, that looks amazing. Okay, so now let's move down. Oh, bummer, I shouldn't have... I should have had my A down first. Don't peel off yet, guys. Let me just guess... Ah! Hold on. I'm going to wind up making a big big mess of this okay whoo okay so let's put our a down and our r back down whoo we don't want to be messing it up you guys i will look at comments in just a second oh in just a second i apologize but i am not looking correctly okay that appears to be nope I feel like that looks like it's more centered. wonder if I can come back on the opposite side of the table now. Will I be able to reach that? I may not. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty straight. It looks straight. We're going to go with it, you guys. We're going to just go with it. One thing I did not take into consideration. Okay, so I got to look at this now. So.
So my highlights, I, I see them now, okay. I feel like I have bumps in my A. I'm just letting you know. I think I may have like gone a little too fast and did not pay attention. Okay, get that excess off. Go back to the Shimmer Olive. There's only a few little speckles here on this side. And I will come back to comments in just a sec. I think after the A, <gasps> yikes, I should be good to move back over onto the opposite side of the table. Okay. Oh, Emma's did it again. Get that R down. Goodness. Okay, I gotta quick do it because I forgot to. Okay, at least that's gonna be the top, so I know where the top's gonna go. Okay. Oh, it looks so good, you guys. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, so what letter is that? That was, this should be the H. Okay. H. Okay, I'm coming back to finish the rest of this on this side of the table. I'll just stand. No biggie. And that way I can see, I can actually see comments again. <gasps> My computer went down. Am I still live? Oh, yay. Oh goodness, I thought I was, ah, I thought I was no longer live. Hold on. I just busted up my wood, man. <laughs> okay, let's get the A. That's the R. It's the A. I always put them back under their carrier sheets to take them to the sink. Just makes more sense to me. Okay, now I am feeling like that's way crooked. But I can't entirely lift it up at this moment in time. I mean, it doesn't look like it is. There it goes. That looks good, right? That looks good, doesn't it, guys? Okay. Let me push down. That looks pretty. Hold on, you guys. I'm pulling this out of the way. I'm gonna. I gotta lift it up real quick. Oh gosh. Yeah, that looks pretty solid. I think it's, I'm seeing it off a little bit because I probably didn't do my cut line straight. But that looks pretty legit, you guys. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Okie dokie. Let's come on back to this, shall we? Oh my gosh, I can't even reach. All right, here's what I'm going to do this time. I think I'm going to make it a little easier on myself. I'm going to do my outline in the olive first. I feel like it's going to be easier on me if I do it this way. And that way I know what not to go over.
Okay, got the Shimmer Harvest down. I mean, Shimmer Olive. Now let's get our Shimmer Harvest in. Now, this could have been a really, really terrible idea for me to do it the way that I did. I won't figure that out until I'm trying to chalk here. You guys, seriously, if you're worried about doing this, stick with one color. Either the Harvest or the Olive or even Bright White would look so good. Probably should not have done the shimmer heart, uh, the shimmer all first. Ooh, maybe because this was a letter with a lot of curves. Could be. There we go. And, oh. Just went over a little bit of the shimmer olive, but that's okay. Really? I'm just going to lift it up and then drop it right back down so I can get my next letter in. Where is the lid? Oh, right in front of my face. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that looks so good. Look at how good that looks, you guys. Just going to drop it just like that. Now let's get the V. Hi, guys. How are you all? It did, Sarah. It did get changed to Maui because Fiji is not currently open. Womp, womp, womp. The inside of my A should... Oh, it should be. I'll go back over that. No biggie. We'll go over that with the shimmer... Um, the shimmer... Uh, uh, olive. No big deal. Alrighty, so now I'm thinking olive, 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 olive is what I think. And you know what? Maybe this one because there's smaller lines. This one I could do the olive first. And that way I don't mess up like I did the A. There we go. Olive is done on that one. And actually, before I even forget, watch this. H-A-R-V. Oh, yeah, you guys can see. But for E, I'll have to shove it up. So hold on. V. Okay. That'll be for the next one. Oh yeah, this one was not terrible.
Okay. I think we got our V done. Okay. Get that excess off. Take off that R. Darn it. That's V. That's R. I forgot to put label the E, which is no worries. There's my V. And I'll move it down for the EST. E S T. There we go. All right. Let me slide it up so that way you guys can see what I'm doing. Hey, Becky. Exactly. No mistakes, right? When do I get to go on my trip? It is March 2nd through um, March the 2nd through March the 9th of 2021. It's going to be so fun, you guys. I'm so excited. And I couldn't have done it without, without you guys because, you know, every purchase that you make through my online store helped me get there. Every single one. So I love, I would love for you guys to think about that, that Yes, those big box stores, those big chains, it's great. They've got stuff and all, but you are helping when you purchase from me and when you join my team, you are helping a for real person who you can see how it affects instead of, oh, it's a big box store. Oh, they must be doing well, you know, whatever. Whatever. You can physically see with me. You get to know me. You get to know me. Um, and you guys know I get to know you. When you join me on my lives at night, I get to learn you guys and learn who you are and about you. You know? That's the cool thing about buying from a small, a small business. And whatnot. I truly and utterly appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. You'll get to hear me say it. And I hope you see me show my appreciation. Okay. That one is done. Vanessa, well, the trip was Fiji, but sadly, Fiji is currently closed for tourism, and they are not going to reopen until next May. So, that is after our trip, but guess where I get to go instead? Now, Fiji, honestly, I never saw Fiji as a bucket list item because I never really thought I had a chance to get there, but I will tell you what a bucket list item was of mine, and that was Hawaii. And they actually changed our trip to Maui. So for me, I'm beyond pumped because Hawaii was someplace I always wanted to go. So this is like a dream come true. Okay. You guys, I don't know why. I think I'm getting old. Um, <laughs> holding this squeegee always makes my, my, in between my thumb and my, um, I don't know, what is it? And my thumb and my pointer finger go numb. Like, literally. Every single time. Trying to get to this little itty bitty area right here. Okay. Let me quick get my S down. Fuzz, 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 fuzz. 
And yes, Mary Ager Brand does get to go with me. Oh, Linda, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Beth. I appreciate you, girl. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Got the S down. Pulling the E up. Oh, man, that looks gorgeous. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, we got the E. All we have is S and T, you guys. Now, oh, gosh. I actually am a little concerned here. Why am I feeling like T isn't going to fit? Oh, it's going to fit. It's fine. It's totally fine. We're going to make it fit. We're going to make it fit. I'm going to get it on right now. Aw, thank you, Dion. Got my contacts today. Yay! I know, Burn. Did you see how big Brands was? Nerve inflammation, you think? I am thinking they sure do as all Club Couture, but also asked about our designers. Oh, awesome, Maria. That's so cool. And Debbie Green, I'm going to go with yes to Carpal Tunnel because, and yes, Ann Leonard, um, because remember... Oh, you are, you are fuzzing, not spraying. I am fuzzing. I'm fuzzing. Um, I'm just fuzzing off camera right now um, because you're not going to be able to see me. Uh, so there's that. Um, but um, I'm going to say yes to Carpal Tunnel because you guys remember I was an anti-money laundering investigator. So I used to have to type up my reports all of the time. And I would have like major, big, big reports that I had to do for my SARS and my other activities that I had to do when I filed a case. I didn't file a case. I always had to write up tons of stuff. Get off. There it goes. So I typed all the time, all the time. So I seriously would not be surprised if that's exactly what it is and that it's carpal tunnel. Oh, darn it. See, I overwent already. Well, I'll just try and make it quickly. I should have done the shimmer olive first. You know what would probably be super easy to do? Is if you were to get placement tape and just put it over the other little areas. And then you could swoop in one, two, three, chalk the area, blah, blah, blah. You know. Hold on. I'm going to stop really quickly and get this spot where I went over and hopefully I saved it hopefully okay yeah it's like this big squeegee is and it's not even a big squeegee. It's the small, or a small squeegee, not a mini. But it is not my friend right now. It makes my, the area in my hand hurts so bad. Gosh, I'm such a goofball. Okay. Did I move it? Oh, yeah, good. You guys can see the S. It might be at the bottom of the screen, but you guys can see it. That's all that matters. Okay. Just about done the S. And then we just have the T. And we're going to have a gorgeous harvest signpost, you guys. It's going to be so pretty. I cannot wait till Halloween is over so I can start decorating for Thanksgiving and for real fall. I don't decorate for fall until after Thanksgiving because I need a reason to decorate after thanks after Halloween. And I want to have, you know, my fall decor up for a little bit. So... That's what I do. Can I get my big fingernails up underneath this? That would be awesome. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, hold on. I'll scoot it up and then that way you guys will be able to see it. 
Oh, please don't let this fall off the table. That would be no bueno because it's getting more heavy towards the end. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to try to hold it down with one hand and chalk with the, the other hand, which is not feeling so wonderful. And I'm trying to be careful. I see my two, I see all my spots where I need the shimmer harvest, or shimmer olive to go. Okay. Whoa. Ah. Okay, I am done with the shimmer harvest. So now I'm gonna finish up with the shimmer. Oh, of course. The shimmer olive. And then I'll go back and get that A, because remember I messed that up. Of course I would mess up one spot. You guys, are you surprised? I mean, it's me. I always mess up. It's no big deal, though. Because guess what? I'll fix it, or I'll say I did it on purpose. Okay. Oh, my God. You guys, I wish you could see it in person. It looks so good. Okay. Oh, don't wreck my desk. Oh. I'm going to wind up going into, Ooh. okay, let's find my A, uh. okay, I got to go right into the center, perfect, right there, okay, There we go, all fixed. You guys, it looks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get the lids on my chalk piece because otherwise they're gonna harden up. Oh my gosh, hold on, my computer keeps shutting down. Country living, where did you get the farmhouse ribbon? Country something. Uh, the farmhouse ribbon. Which farmhouse ribbon? Thanks, Fern. Where did I get the farmhouse ribbon? Which one, Kristen? I don't know which one you're talking about. I know, Debbie Green. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to suck it up. Um, eating chips and dip. Uh, being done and on very pretty. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, you guys. It looks so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'll add... I may not add anything. I was thinking I was going to maybe add the pumpkins off to the side, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. I don't think I want to. I think I like it just the way it is. Sometimes, sometimes you guys, um, not doing much to it at all says a lot. Oh gosh, I'm trying not to get it on me. So... Here is, I got to be careful because I don't think I'm going to be able to go all the way to the ceiling. So harvest. It's about, and I know you guys are going to ask, I think it's about four feet high. Um, I love these colors together. Oh, Debbie Green for sure, Ombre. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Mary. Thanks, Kat. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Lisa. With the farm on it was red and white. Oh, was that from my video the other day, Kristen? I think if it... Was it Carolina Pottery or Walmart? 
hurt. Ooh, I don't remember. Um, yes, agreed, Kat. Sometimes less is more. Um, awesome, Jane. Yes, hopefully you'll love, you'll love it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my God, I love it. Okay. All right, you guys, I've got to jet because I have a leader call in about 20 minutes. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the live. Remember, you can get everything right in my online store, which is right here down below. Shimmer Harvest uh, will be back in stock next week. Shimmer Olive is available. Harvest Signpost is available. Yes, Carolina Pottery, I believe it was. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Lynn Jewel. You're welcome, Kristen. Thanks, Sherry Prince. So, um, thanks, Kristen. So, uh, that's what I got for you guys. I'm going to hopefully, depending on how little Bran is feeling, I do have a... My favorite place in my, my favorite section in my favorite place haul that I'll be doing on YouTube. So if you guys are not following me on YouTube, please go over there, follow my page, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified. I'm 99% sure it's just going to be very late. It'll probably be closer to 1030. But um, if and if it's not tonight, like I said, this is all going to be dependent on how little brand feels. If it's not tonight, it's going to be first thing tomorrow morning over on YouTube, like early tomorrow morning probably about eight ish, um, maybe nine, uh, between that time. I wish I could be more exact, but it all depends on how my kiddo's feeling. You guys know he's my heart. So, um, just follow me, turn the notifications on, turn, hit the bell, like subscribe, hit the bell, turn the notifications. I have it all done, but, um, that's all I got for you. So I hope you guys have an awesome night. I'll be back tomorrow with another super fun project and, um, we will talk then. Okay. Have a great night. You guys. Bye.